Hi Aries, welcome back. This is going to be a October 15th and 17th reading for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, the 15th to the 17th of October. For you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node, what is coming in for Aries? What is coming in for Aries? We have stand your ground, the seven of wands. So you're going to have to stand your ground with them. Yeah, you you know too much about something to, to really deal with this Aries or to, to, to back down. Okay, it could be with the Leo, but wisdom and moving on, we have five, six, seven. So in Libra and Cancer's reading, it was one, two, three, and you're pulling five, six, seven. So steps here. And the number five again, moving on, deception and envy, fi financial and material changes with victory and success. So there's that five, six, seven, and then um, and then we have five, six, and then wow, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, wow. So this is an omen for you, steps. You're going to see the number five, six, seven, steps here, or something about moving on. And then a Libra and Cancer got one, two, three. So something um, here takes step or time or there's some kind of knowledge that you need. There's steps you need to take here. You can't jump over it or go too fast or whatever. You have to learn, do each, each phase here. So with this deception and envy, usually in the tarot cards, this, the, with deception and envy, the mask is over someone's um, face, all right? Which indicates lies and deception. But in this particular one, someone's take, they lifted the mask. So somebody may, may be wanting to take off this mask, maybe about a financial situation or what they're going through. But this could also be, um, yeah, I feel like somebody wears a mask. I feel like this, there's somebody that literally wears a mask. Like this is like a somebody, or like a celebrity, and you see them in movies, you see them a certain way, but behind closed doors. I don't know, they're... they're different or something yeah we have moving on and wisdom yeah you have enough wisdom to move on you're going to triumph over something and be very successful here as well victory and success this is over these financial and material changes that are happening here so you don't have to worry you had a heartache and lost seven of wands to resource so you may end up breaking up with somebody or or ending it or you're going to have to stand your ground with this x is over you're moving on yeah disruption I feel like you're closed off or you feel like somebody had disruption in truth. So I feel like some kind of truth has come in that has really changed the course of a situation and you're just not going back. You can't go back. You're not going to. It's over. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're free from a situation here. You've gained enough knowledge and wisdom to move forward. Let's get one in here for Aries. It's 15 to the 17th of October for Aries. 15th to the 17th of October. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node, Aries. The 15th to the 17th of October. Aries. Any one of these. Yeah, we have dodging bullets. That's right. So I feel like you're protected here, Aries. You dodged the bullet. You could be celebrating. Yeah, fraud. You know they broke and fake flexing, right? All right, and powerful family you should not cross. Okay, with loss of relationship and carry. Okay, we have Empress Boss Bitch. And parent, I like this person for you. So you like somebody, you think that your parents would like them. You love somebody, they can have dark roots and blonde ends in their hair. This could be somebody that wears a ring on their middle finger. This could be somebody very heavy chested brown or caramel caramel skin very beautiful smile here i just feel like somebody's eyes are very captivating okay their skin yeah this could be a twin flame of yours aries with twin flame the empress that is your divine counterpart and equal give and take relationship wow we got internet trolls bitch we got the tea so people could be hating but at the bottom you have fraud you know that they broke and fake flexing so somebody could be broke or fake flexing or this could be a family you know saying this but i feel like you're dodging bullets here somebody could be but this is an equal give and take it says twin flame someone ha has or will have twins 
could be little girls so you can have twins or if this is your or you're thinking about kids okay or whatever but this is like an equal give and take relationship and your parent is going to love this person the empress of course all right let's see let's get another card from here for you for um aries someone rising jupiter north node the 15th to the 17th of october That we have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation with healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So you're healing something. Something's happening all of a sudden. You're getting this epiphany or this news or you figure something out or you found something out and you're just like, nah, I can't fuck with this. Yeah, this could be that somebody stabbed you in the back or this could be someone that stabbed you in the back. You're stabbed in the back in the Grim Reaper. Yeah, I feel like whatever somebody, yeah, yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's coming out. Whatever somebody did here, okay, yeah, separation, whatever somebody did, okay, yeah, you're freeing yourself from something toxic, a relationship, or this could be addictions. All of a sudden, this is happening. There's an upheaval. There's a transformation that is about to change somebody's life staff in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So all of a sudden, yeah, somebody, there's a breakup or there's this betrayal you find out about. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And then we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So there's a snake here. This could be this other woman. Something. There's some kind of competition or enemy or malicious. You may be finding out that somebody's an enemy or malicious. This woman that you've been dealing with here or that you're yoked to or that you're fucking with. Yeah, separation. I feel like, um, yeah, sadness, passion, and talking. There's someone you miss. You're looking at their photos. Someone you want to talk to. You miss. You want to be with. Somebody you feel like is, is your twin flame. The Empress Boss Bitch. Somebody beautiful. Somebody that you feel like is an equal give and take relationship with. Somebody that balances you. Somebody you feel like your family would love or your mother would love. Your, your, your parent could be telling you, I like this person for you, okay? Yeah, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and sure future, insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun and interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text call, email, and hoovering, with looking at your photos, um, missing you, nostalgic, and make new memories. So you're definitely missing someone here. Yeah, we have um, keys on a ring, multiple options, unconventional string alone, one night stand with healthy choices, making healthy choices and loving in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. It's just like somebody wants to love themselves. Somebody wants to make the, the right decisions. They want to make healthier choices. Somebody's tired of all of this crazy shit. They're done with it. Yeah, moving on. And deception and envy. Someone's moving on from deception and envy. Something with money, some, some loss of money or whatever. And as soon as you decide to do this, it says success and victory with triumph. You're going to be triumphant and you're going to be successful here. You have the heart card and sacrifice with hope. I feel like somebody tried to sacrifice you, but that didn't quite fucking work. Give me one from right here. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, North Node, the 15th to the 17th of October for Aries. 15th to the 17th of October for Aries. We have abundance. There we go, baby. You, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now in acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. And understand whatever the situation you're walking away from does too. This relationship can stand the test of time with stability and vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. An apology. You can expect the apology that you want to hear. You could yeah, get in marriage in different pages. So I feel like somebody's in a marriage where they're on different pages. Somebody's not the, they're just not the one for them, you know, like period or something like that. Okay, let's see. Let's put a card on this. But someone's a fraud, you know, you know they broke and fake flex or right? Okay. Who's the fraud and broke and fake flexing? Yeah, somebody wants to apologize. Somebody's in love with you. Someone's sorry. They can't stop thinking about you. Okay, somebody made a wrong choice in love or a decision that they chose to make. What is this uh, fraud? They, uh, you know they broke. And 
Wait, flexing. <coughs> That's me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So somebody's telling a bunch of lies. Somebody is broke. They're really broken, fake, fake flexing. Someone's telling a bunch of lies here. A whole bunch of them. Okay, yeah, the Six of Swords and the Magician. And the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So I don't know what this spell work is, but I feel like you're, you're moving on from it or you're done or you're over something or you get over it or something's not working. It's not strong. It's not working. Magician, Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. And somebody could be worried about that. Yeah, the Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So somebody feels like somebody's um, telling a bunch of lies here about their money or and fake flex and right and, and what they got. What's the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords? Yeah, the world. This is over. Could be a Libra or a Gemini. Okay, a cycle is over here. I'm not really... So somebody's bragging about their money or, oh, I got this, I got that, or I'm... You know, I'm I, I I'm powerful. I can goddamn do this. I got the I can whatever and somebody really can't do that. They're not powerful or they don't got that money or they can't because I feel like somebody's trying to flex like they're like well, for real with rich. Cause this even looks like a rich person in this car. Like somebody's like they 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 like and, and they may even buy like designer type shit or whatever the fuck this is. And that's fine if it, you know if you buy it, whether you got the money to do it or you don't, that's on you. But I feel like somebody, just everything they're saying is a fucking lie. The Ten of Swords is a bunch of lies. But the Queen of Swords is the truth, though. So, yeah, you know the truth. You know that somebody's lying. You know that somebody's not that powerful. They don't have that much money. You know that. But I feel like somebody brags or they act like they do or they tell everybody that or they walk around like they the shit or they be like, yeah, you know, woody woody woo, and that's really not the case at all or something like that or, or whatever but whatever this is you have too much experience it's over you're not gonna let somebody lie or try to play you like they they in this position that they're not in or whatever whether somebody lost a relationship or they lost all of their money or 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 something like that you know the ancestors are showing up here the ancestors been showing up in the readings with that six of swords a lot public and social um Public media, social media beef. There could be, yeah, your ancestors, yeah, and happily married. Don't focus on no dumb shit. Focus on the shit that, that, you know, you need to be focused on. So that's over, whatever that was over there, okay? I feel like that situation's over. Let's get something on this. What's the lightning, the healing staff in the back, the Grim Reaper, and the snake? Yeah, the six of swords. Somebody's moving on or moving away from it. There's that seven of wands again. It's coming out twice. I feel like you're just blocking motherfuckers and you don't care. You're indifferent about it. The two of swords and you're over it. The fool card, Aries. I feel like you're blocking several people. You're standing your ground or you're doing whatever the fuck you got to do here. I'm also getting secret service or some kind of protection here. Okay. Um, yeah, you're moving on from whatever the, whatever the fuck this is. The healing and the lightning. Stab in the back. Grim Reaper relationship is over. What's the Grim Reaper? Yeah, you may deliver this news very hostile-like. The Knight of Swords and the Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody may be disappointed or sad. Somebody knows, yeah, or whatever the fuck this is. You're healing. You're moving forward. Something's happening now. This could be somebody that was attacking you, treating you like shit, or just, I don't know what the fuck they ass was doing. But your ancestors, there's the card again. Ancestors is here and, and on motherfuckers ass. Okay. The ancestors card is right here too, teaming up and going. Yeah, they all, they're 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 done. The knight of swords and the five of cups. Or somebody thought that they were gonna bully you, but you're not gonna say anything, or you're gonna resist, or you're gonna leave them hanging. So somebody feels disappointed or stupid, or somebody regrets something they did impulsively. What's the knight of swords and the five of cups? Yeah, the eight of swords. Because they got stuck or somebody is it, trapped or they trapped themselves. Yeah, the the tables turned on their ass. And somebody else ended up stuck or trapped or something didn't work. Yeah, the Four of Cups or someone trying to turn the tables on you, but it's not going to work with the Four of Cups. And the Magician, yeah, their spell work. Somebody may still try to do this, but I just feel like it's not conducive or it's not going to work. Somebody trying to trap you or have you stuck or doing whatever the, the, this is. The tables are just going to keep turning on their ass. Yeah, Seven, seven of Cups. Somebody's like, why isn't this working or what the fuck do you mean it's not working? 
Cause I'm here, you're moving forward. You're not worried. Yeah, the eight of swords is trying to have you stuck or sabotaged or in your head or confused or going in circles. And that shit is over. I feel like the planetary bodies have shit. Something is over. You've learned a lesson here with the world card right there. You've learned what you need to learn or what, what whatever the fuck this is. Okay, I feel like you're gonna cut somebody ass out too, and then you're gonna you're done. Yeah, the nine of wands and the five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody projecting this loss and lack on you or whatever. You have hope and inspiration. Your faith is being restored. You have peace of mind. You know things that are, are going to work out for you. And you're pushing forward. Yeah, the four of wands and the ten of wands, seven of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So if there was some kind of struggles or something with the home, something's going to be replenished here for you to do what you need to do here in your life or to move forward areas or it is for someone else. I feel like you're going to block several people you're in, and you're over it. There's the seven of wands here twice. You're having to defend yourself against several people. What's the seven of wands? Seven, seven, two. Which is um, in the deck. Who got that number? The last person's reading, I did Virgo. So you could be dealing with the Virgo. What's the Seven of Wands here twice? Yeah. As soon as I said that, the Nine of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Wands here twice? Yeah, the two. So, yeah, you're standing your ground. Yeah, wisdom. That's what it is. It's like you you have, for somebody to be telling you like you have enough experience with this now. You're moving on. Wisdom and moving on. Okay, for, literally from deception and envy. There's the seven again. So, Virgo got these seven sevens in their reading. So, I'm going to read it for you again. You're moving on. This could be financial struggle or whatever, whatever or just being neglected or out in the cold or, or, or whatever. You're like, no, nah, I'm not doing this. I'm blocking your ass. You inconsistent. You on and off again. I'm going to block you. I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be indifferent and I'm going to move the fuck on. I don't have anything else to say to you. I'm not going to keep playing the game with you or anything like that. What's the um two of pentacles? You don't, yeah, the three of pentacles, yeah. You juggling, you have a third party, or somebody you know somebody's juggling, or has a third party at work, or whatever, or or whatever. You're just gonna move on. Yeah, the eight of cups and, and detach. You don't have anything left to say. You're not gonna do it. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. There you are. You're 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 unencumbered, or you're free. You're not attached. You don't have to. You don't owe nobody shit. Or somebody trying to play mind games with you or whatever. That's not going to work. Yeah, this this king of wands over here is the one that's trying to do, do some kind of spell work. Somebody may end up trying to apologize or seduce you. You're like, no, nah, I don't want no apology or shit from you. The knight of cups and the five of swords. Yeah, somebody may... Yeah, somebody may apologize. You're like, nah, bitch, I don't fuck with you. But I really feel like somebody's the five of swords. Yeah, the justice. You're like, nah, stay away from me. Yeah, the nine of wands. Somebody really don't like you or they, they may try to whatever or whatever because their tricks didn't work on you. You're like, nah, stay away from me, dog. Don't apologize. Don't say shit to me. Stay the fuck away from me. That's the only thing you need to do. What is this over here? Yeah, the page of wands. So somebody may see you as very attractive. Somebody may, what's the empress? My, my, um... My parent likes this person for you, twin flame, and equal give and take. So, yeah, you dodge the bullet with whatever this inconsistency is or in and out or on and off again. Shit, you're, you're detached. You're like, nah, I'm super good. Somebody may say they want to work. You're like, nah, you just keep rejecting somebody or blocking them or, you're, or, or some shit. This could be somebody following you on several platforms. Somebody could be... Could be Blocking several black somebody something somebody's doing here. Yeah, okay. Let's see. What is this? Two of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, five of wands. Someone's trolling you on several platforms or blocking it or rejecting you or doing something. Yeah, the nine of swords and the temperance. And you're temperate about it. You're like, yeah, okay. I feel like the fact that you're tempered is you're at peace. It scares somebody. You're, you're like, yeah, I'm not really worried about you, bitch. Yeah, I feel like it's because you've moved on to something else. Just period. You don't give a fuck about this. You've moved on. Yeah, this could be something about your voice. What is the Empress over here? Yeah, the lovers in the Twin Flame card. Someone's in love with you and they're going to tell you this or reach out to you or reconcile with you or email you or, e or, or text you. I see you in communication with this person. Yeah, the Empress. Now we have the Empress and the Emperor here. So your divine counterpart, your Twin Flame and card is here. And wow, it did come out. I thought it came out. No, that was in the last reading with Virgo. Yeah. Yeah, someone's going to call you. If someone's having an awakening, I definitely feel like a call or a FaceTime, a text, a message. Something's coming in. What's abundant here? 
And then we're going to take it, yeah, the Six of Wands, Success and Recognition. So we're going to take it to be extended. Yeah, the Ace of Wands, something new and creative here. Yeah, the King of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. This could be music. I am getting something about your voice. Or this could be love, someone you're meeting. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Four of Wands. I feel like somebody wants to invest time, energy, and effort in you. A marriage, long term. Somebody sees emotional fulfillment with you. This is what somebody wants with you. They could be saying this in so many words. The nine of wands, the ten of wands, and the star. There could be a Sagittarius or somebody mad. They're just going to be mad. I'm also getting somebody's mother or wife is sick or um, or something like that. All right, we're going to see with this deck what's really going on here. We're going to see... Um, what's next but i am getting somebody misses you all right let's see what this is for aries there you are aries okay and i'll see you in the extended